During CES, I saw things you people wouldn't believe, and one of those things I can still barely believe myself, but yes, at TCL's display block, there was indeed something that can only be described as pure insanity. We're talking about a 27-inch 8K high refresh rate, HDR 1400 mini LED monitor with 5,000 zones that, as you can imagine, not only is capable of getting extremely bright, but had great local dimming, getting seemingly near OLED levels of contrast in some instances, as with roughly four to five times the amount of dimming zones on the monitor compared to even the best mini LED monitors today, it's able to much more finely control which LED backlights are turned off to reduce blooming around objects and give that same pure black typically only found on OLED displays. And if that isn't enough for you, you better bite the pillow because my God, an 8K resolution on a PC monitor looks absolutely stunning. You may notice how in games there's aliasing or stair-stepping effects around the edges of objects, even at 4K. While at 8K, this is essentially entirely eliminated, leading to not only more crisp and defined objects, but the level of texture detail visible at 8K is absolutely mind-blowing. It's truly the end game resolution, in my opinion, and to see it paired with these amazing HDR capabilities is like nothing I've seen before. Plus, unlike OLED, there's no worry for burn-in, meaning it's a great option for work, and I can imagine video editors in specific will be seeking out these 8K displays so that they can see their 4K footage crystal clear when it's only taking up one quarter of the screen, since 8K is actually four times the resolution of 4K. Now, I know some people will say that 8K is pointless, and on TVs, I think to some extent, at least for now, that is true, as there really isn't any 8K content. But on PC, everything you do immediately benefits making this actually worthwhile. And coming from someone who has used an 8K display natively on PC, I can assure you it is a massive step up in clarity over 4K. Now, maybe not quite the same as going from 1080p to 4K, but still large nonetheless. And what I would consider to be the, again, end game resolution on PC, though of course, it will require an insanely powerful GPU, along with frequent use of upscaling to run your games at high frame rates if you do want to run it at technically 8K. Though, of course, you could always just run your games at 4K if you want to do that instead. Now, of course, OLED will still have the edge in micro contrast and pixel response times, making it an excellent choice for competitive gaming or HDR in a dark room, but I do think this year, Mini LED is going to get a lot more competitive and will offer superior HDR impact with displays like this. So here's hoping this monitor comes with a glossy finish when it launches, I believe potentially sometime this year, as I did see some suggestions that 8K displays would be coming this year along with higher zone count mini LED backlights, but I couldn't get any confirmation on this exact model. So keep your eyes out and thank you to all my Patreon supporters, by the way, for making my CES trip possible. Link in the description if you want to join the Discord and get access to all my settings guides. Whether you're looking to connect a new console, gaming PC, or just need a fast and reliable HDMI cable to connect over long distances, Rupro has you covered with their certified 8K HDMI 2.1 fiber optic cable available in sizes of up to 50 feet and can deliver a perfect full 48 gigabits per second connection over distances other cables could only dream of reaching. And with 48 gigabits per second of bandwidth, it can easily drive 8K 60 FPS or 4K 150 44 FPS 10-bit HDR video through its ultra-thin, flexible, and durable housing, and it even supports ER. So if you're in the market for a cable that can drive a beautiful new TV or monitor, be sure to check out Rupro on Amazon today.